The next part is to put the sections within the body. Then the body is going to contain a header section. It's like having a containers for the different parts. It makes it better for the search engines and for uh, softwares like uh, JAWS uh, used for accessibility purpose because the if you use meaningful terms for contain uh, for containers instead of uh, uh, generic terms like uh, div if you use uh, semantic tags like uh, header section footer it makes it more uh, accessible header and footer and also we will have a main section okay so we will have three parts and the section so each of them we need to open and close okay so in the header part I'm just going to put with this one this is a simple web page I'm just going to uh, put a heading it can be the same as the title to save time I'll copy that part and uh, put it here but the h1 need to close how do we close it we the less than sign uh, forward slash and h1 yeah all right and uh, then inside the section we will put the h2 subheading slightly smaller heading size and we need to open it and close it and also the paragraph tag okay uh, we'll make it one paragraph uh, okay I'll add this away from the video to keep it short for you to be I'm not going to claim to tell the whole uh, story of uh, Shannon Abuda however uh, it will demonstrate how to do this simple web page uh, all right next if I insert the images to insert the image I mg the mg tag would be used but it needs an attribute after one space it needs, it needs an attribute src not scr some of you make that mistake but src and the file name need to be exact so if I get it from here con yeah copy it and uh, you can add a title to the image we are no we could specify the height and width but we prefer to do that demonstrate how to do that in uh, CSS so I'll, I'll leave it and the name is the title you know when we put the mouse hover the mouse over alt uh, so the alternate text could be this would be useful for uh, VI users, peop you know, some pe uh, some people may not be able to read, visually impaired or blind people may not be able to read. So the alternative text would be useful, and in fact, I'm gonna be cheating here. I'm going to copy the whole. I have got four pictures, and and then change. I think I have saved them correctly, but I'll test it by. Oh no, that's four. All right, and file save all and run launch in Chrome. All right, yes, uh, we have the heading, subheading, paragraph in a serif font. Serif fonts are not suitable, and the pictures in different sizes. Nice pictures, but not nicely laid out. So. We are going to go into the CSS part in, in the next video and try to uh, actually show you how to do CSS uh, using uh, using uh, uh, 